Hello everyone. It is about uh, 9.50 at night. I have been waiting all day and our postman just arrived. I think this is the latest that he has ever came. I knew I had a... I thought I had these two coming. I did not know what this was and I'm still not sure quite what that is. Uh... But I'm assuming these two things are from AliExpress, and this is, this is says Prime, but this is what I ordered off of Etsy, so I'm a little confused with the Prime package, unless you just recycled, which I'm okay with, too. Uh, but we're going to do a review, and uh, we're also going to do uh, a little bit more of mixed mold because of what's in this package and what's in these packages. Um... First of all, I want to say hello. My name is Beth. For all of y'all that have never been here before, thank you so much for coming. For all of those that have been here many times before and my subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. And we're going to get started. And hopefully this one will not be as long as the other one. Oh, I, before we get started, I want to show you what I have accomplished so far. On the piece that I did in my last video. And that is it. What I've gotten done so far. I, I've taken quite a bit of that off. I'm still not totally done. Taking everything off. But I've got quite a bit of it taken off. Uh, so far. And I just wanted to show you the progress. On that. And we are going to get started with this. Now, this is what I'm really uh, excited about getting. And I hope they're as good as I think they're going to be. Now, these are not cheap. These are, uh, these are quite expensive. For what you get but I just wanted to try them out I didn't get a whole lot these are oxide powders that is coffee that's the color this is black which does not look black this looks brown this so looks brown to me. I want to show y'all. That is not black. Look it up there. That's even got a brown tint. That's not black. And terracotta. Unless maybe let me let me look in here. That this is not black. And if it's not, I'm sending it back because. I ordered black. I did not order brown. So, let's get a little spoon. Now, yeah, that's black. Okay. And as you can see, let me flick this and get it. Since there's air in here. And get it down so you can see. That's how much powder out of that whole bag. That That is how much powder I got right there. That little bit right there. That's, that's what's in this bag. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't take that much. But we're going to find out tonight. And I did order that off of Etsy. Okay, this mold came from AliExpress, but now when you order from different people on AliExpress, unlike Timu, with AliExpress, you may get three or four different bags from the same order. They don't always come in together. And I paid $1.92 for this mold. I did not have this one. 
And I thought with me doing all the casting stuff, this would be a, a good one to have. As you can see, that's sort of... Wonky. That's in the mold. That's not coming out. Uh, but that's that one. I have several coming from AliExpress. So I don't know which ones are in this one. Ooh, the big one. I'm excited about this. I paid a dollar ninety-two cents for this, and uh, the same one in Timu was like nine bucks. Look at there. That's a good size bow, y'all. Yeah, I'm excited about that. That's going to take quite a bit of powder, though. Oh, I got more of them. Oh, I'm excited about that. Oh, this is bigger than what I thought. Oh, but I'm sort of happy about this. You see that? That's for a candle, and you put the matches there. You see the little... That's a good quality mold, too. That That's not a real flimsy... Okay, we may be pouring this one tonight. I thought we were going to pour this one, but we may be pouring that one. I don't know. That's a lot of, I don't know. I'm excited about that one, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we'll be pouring this one. <laughs> we can't pour them all, y'all. I'll be out of mixed mold again, and it's not on sale anymore. Uh, it's got the leaf, and I paid I paid a dollar twenty four cents for this one. Oh, and this one right here, I paid two ninety two for that mold, and that's off of AliExpress. And I have to say, I ordered all these on March the second, so it took me nine days to get these. Yeah, that's got that leaf. I'm excited about that one, too. Okay, and which one is this? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm excited about all these. And then I got this one. Oh, no, on the floor. Let me. Okay. Got that one and it has the lid and I really like and I'm wondering what I really would like to do is color those or tur turquoise and then do it in black that's what I'd like to do to see how black it would get but I don't know if I could color those in turquoise. Let me see if I can pop the, the mold inside out fairly easy. I wonder if it would take my paint pan. I have a true turquoise. I'm looking to see if I do. I don't think I do. Looks like a seafoam green to me.
I have these uh, chameleon blue. Ooh, that might be pretty with black. Hmm. What do y'all think? I really want a turquoise though. I wonder if that's dark. I'm still looking, y'all. I haven't given up from. I don't. I don't find. I don't see. What is this? This is Nick Pro. Let's open this and let's sit away from the mold. Ooh. That's not going to be pretty with black. And I don't really want the glitz. You know, I just want, I just want a plain turquoise color. And I don't see anything. Let me look at my micas real fast down here. I have a bunch of micas. Okay, these are the eye candy. You know, I've never done those. I need to do these. I got these. They sent these to me for a review. And I have yet to do the review on this. Oh, and these are the color shifts. I so need to be doing those. Oh. Okay. This is what I'm going to... Ooh, that's pretty, though. Ooh, that would be pretty in black. Okay. We may be doing that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to be doing these with the... Uh, we may be doing that with the black, even though I wanted the bright turquoise. Oh, look at that. Okay, I need to look at my stuff more often. Yeah, I'm still looking for a turquoise color, but I don't think I'm going to find it. It's peacock green. Did these companies just not make turquoise in the color? That sort of surprises me. Does anybody out there have turquoise micas? Because out of all these, oh, that's about the truest blue green. Good job, Resineer. Good job. You're the only one so far that has come close. And that's amazing to me. I have them all. This is all Let's Resin and J Diction and Resineers and Eye Candy. I know Eye Candy's got it. I just didn't get any of it. But there's not one. Ooh, maybe that's it. Nope. That's their bluish green. But that looks more like green to me. That does not look like turquoise. That doesn't really look like turquoise. But, you know, between the two. <laughs> Somebody needs to figure out how to do turquoise, y'all. <laughs> yeah.
I'm talking about the, the companies. I want to mix these two and see what we can come up with. Yeah, it's not what I want. Ooh, I do. I sort of really like that, though. I think maybe we'll go with this. I have not used the eye candy stuff yet. I don't know how good it's going to be, though, if I just... I may, may not be doing it justice by just putting it on there, though. Huh. I probably will not be doing it justice by doing that. But we'll try. We'll do one little piece. And we'll see. Let me try that brush right there. I want to do them all. That's a pretty color, but I don't think it's going to go. I don't think it's going to do what I want. But we'll see. My oh, Lord, the cleanup is going to be horrendous. Oh, Lord. I just touched it. See, it just does not go on good that way. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste it. It does wonderful. When you mix it with resin. But we're not doing that, so. But I really want that a different color. I do not want that. And I don't have any pins down here. I don't really have any. Okay, let's try this. This is white. Let's try the Let's Resin. Oh, that's not even opened. And I need an, a good applicator brush. Let me see if I've got... Let me look up here. These are all been used, but I keep those. It's been used. Nope, I don't have one in there. Oh, here's one. Let me see if this works. It definitely works better than... Yeah, I'm going to have to clean, clean this up a little bit. And I know I'm going to. I just want to make sure that I've got enough powder on here to highlight.
And I should probably fast forward. I don't know how to fast forward, but I could pause this and come back. But I want you to sort of say in real time. So I'm not going to do that. It's start down here tonight, y'all. <sighs> if I was down here just doing crafting, I'd have music blaring. I can't do that because YouTube would get me for... <sighs> Something, I'm sure. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> One thing I won't put you through is having to listen to me sing, though. <laughs> I just wanted these to stand out. And I don't know how good these are going to stand out against the black. But at least they won't be totally the same color. And goodness, there's a bunch of them on here. <sighs> you don't realize this until you start having to do every one of them. And I could have done this a little bit more carefully where I wouldn't have had so much cleanup. But I wanted to make sure that each one was heavy enough. And I would have had to have gone back two or three times. I don't think it's any quicker in the long run. I don't know. I think that's my last one. I think it is. Well, it doesn't look like it's got much on there, though. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to take the other, I found another one of those up here somewhere. Or maybe I'll take the brush. I think I'll take the brush. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to have that in my hand to wipe it off. First, I'm going to go around this way. Nope, I'm getting it too close. Can y'all hear the, the cars out there? That's from... Look at that line in this mold. Okay. 
there's a line in this mud. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not. Okay. See, I'm just getting it. I hope you can see this. Just going through the top. Okay. I'm just going to go through each one. I don't care if there's a little bit left. I'm not being that picky. I'm just putting pressure on to pick up the excess. Good enough. Okay, we're gonna leave that setting there for just a minute. Now see, that's got dirt on it. It came that way. What is that? And they've got a sort of a funny smell. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna try to put the mica around the edge and on the inside. And not with this brush, with that brush back, Beth. It's like it's not sticking in the inside of this. And maybe it is and I just can't tell it. I'm 
Let me get the brush and see if I can't really get down there. Can you tell if it's in there good? I can't. Okay. This could be a mistake right here. Should have done this an interference pattern, but that's not the look I'm going for either. I'm, I'm just trying to get it so where it's not. I don't want it shiny. And I'm trying to get it all the way. Around it. Okay. Now I have to clean that off. And I think I'm going to do that with the uh, this brush right here. The same thing that I used. Let me get the mica off of here. Take a little bit of alcohol right there. Let's see if we can get much of it off this way. I'm not using a an alcohol wipe because I'm afraid it will go down on that rim and I don't want it to go past the very top. And I can control the brush a lot better than I can control that alcohol wipe. But I've got it on my finger. And I'm just going to do this to try to get whatever little bit. And I've got it taunt on my finger. Okay, I think that is ready to go. I definitely want to do this mold though. This is the one that, so I think we're going to do two jars tonight. If we have time, and I will go ahead and dust this with grain. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh... So we're going to use black on that one. We're going to use the terracotta 
on this one and we'll use brown on that one how about that and so i will look for i've lost them oh okay here it is i'm going to use this no, they didn't work really good by... Yeah, let's pigment the color. Okay. Okay, let me find a green. I want more of a foresty green, though. I don't want a bright green. More of an olive. Oh, that's... That's what I want right there. Did I tell you Rosa that she she got me two more of these? I can't wait. Oh, and I have to I have to tell y'all something. I put it on my wish list. And I will be getting it uh probably next month. Uh we all have budgets. Uh but Cookie, one of the uh people in our Facebook Facebook group, she posted something and it was a new mixer. And it doesn't have any blades. It uses uh, magnets. And it intrigued me. And so I went and looked. And I did some research on that. And oh, I can't wait to get it. I think that's going to be so much fun to, to play around with. Uh, the cleanup is supposed to be easy peasy. Now, you know, I've got, I got the Let's Resin, uh, mixer, and I don't use it much. I bought that, and, uh, honestly, uh, I'm going to say, I think it's a waste of money. That's just my opinion. It, uh. It does an okay job, but it takes way longer than the five minutes it says it's going to. Don't put four-hour cure resin in there because it, it won't it won't take the bubbles out. It just seems to make more. Um, and uh, the cleanup. You know, you try to tell yourself, well, yeah, it's not too bad. But it, in all actuality, it is. By the time you, you you do it and you have to spend 10 minutes mixing it and, and then you have to clean it and you're better off just stirring the, the silly stuff. Um, but this right here, the one with the magnet, of course, I don't have it, but I looked at it and I am excited about trying it. It costs $39.99. That comes with the stick to remove the magnet uh, from the bottom and... Um, that gives you a, a set of magnets to go into it and then the actual machine. And I don't think that's a bad price at all uh, for what it is. They do have just the machine with nothing else for $29.99, but you'd have to pay $10 just for the, the strip set anyway. So you might as well just get the set and you get the little... Uh, magnet remover in there too. And now I'm just going around and removing that. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to remove all that on the inside. Something tells me that I want to. <laughs> This is why my videos are never short, because I don't ever just do one thing. Did y'all watch Daniel Cooper's thing about writing with resin today? You know, I watch Daniel Cooper, and I normally love his videos, but I was a little surprised by that one. Uh, 
I mean, how many of y'all haven't actually done that before? I just thought that was a given that, you know, I've tried it many times before. I've got those little bottles. Uh, it just was not something that I thought that, you know, was that big of a deal. But maybe it, maybe, you know, I'm assuming maybe that everybody already figured that out. Maybe they hadn't. But I, I have, I tried it and not just with bottles. I, I've tried it with calligraphy pens, with glass pens, with, with a lot of different things. I'm sort of surprised he didn't try it with his glue method. And why it's really thick. And you have more control. But it may have been too gumpy. Because that does gump up, up really, really bad. And you said you had to have the light. You know, the little flashlight. Which I've got. But when I did it, I didn't have to have the flashlight. I just had my UV lamp ready, and when I got done, I just turned it on. It was sitting right there where it needed to be, and then I just turned it on. So, it's doable without one of those UV flashlights if you don't have one. If you have it ready to go. And I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking a brush. And I'm going in between the leaves because I don't want the grain to be in there. Not all the way, anyway. go back in just a minute and get that off on the sides making sure that I've got it and I think there's a still a little bit of grain right in there I can see the shininess that's what I'm going by do they even make non-shiny mica I mean I know I can use my chalk that's probably what I should have got out is my pastel chalks. Because when you're trying to make something look organic and natural, you don't want the shine. You don't want the metallic. You just want the color. It's too late now. But next time I'm doing this, y'all holler and let me... <laughs> let me uh, remind me that I should be using my pastel chalks. <laughs> Yes, I know that's not possible, but I do wish it was. I guess one, I'm thinking about going one night a month, going live, and just crafting while I'm live, not doing the question and answer, because there's no way I could do this and keep up with the, maybe if I got Ashley down here with me, but she's in school right now, and oh, her schedule is so, so busy. That is pretty, huh? I think I'm going to really, really like that one. Okay, here we go. 
already 45 minutes into the video y'all that's how much stuff i have gotten done in 45 minutes and i've not been dowling dowling uh, that word i've not been just sitting around doing nothing so this is real time that's what it takes it's not five minutes it's like boom 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 and it's done that's a false perception okay here we go can you see my hello yes hello oh i gotta turn that inside out oh that's gonna be fun oh i don't want that nope i don't want it to that way i want that to go down without moving the sides come on come on pop down in there without the sides going down please Did I do this wrong? Oh, I have so done this wrong, didn't I? <laughs> oh, me. Okay. Well, <laughs> it will be what it will be. Oh, goodness. Yes, I turned it. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, and I got Micah all over the sides. Oh, y'all, I don't want that all over there. Nope, nope, and nope. I don't want it that way. Mm-mm. Nope. I'm going to see if I can do this because... I don't want the mica there. I know. I don't want it there. Why isn't it coming off? It's on that part. Yeah, this is not going to work. The white is... All over the place. Well, it's as good as it's going to get, I guess. Okay, I'm disappointed in that, though. It's going to be, uh, I can always repaint them, though. That I can do. So let's just move on. And get this stuff mixed up and poured. I am going to get some gloves on tonight because my hands, from messing with all this powder, they are so dried out. So I would suggest you wear gloves. 
but you don't need to. Okay, let me get my big glasses out. And we're going to use the clear ones so y'all can see through them. And I am on, I had just bought two tubs, two five-pound tubs of the mix and mold. Now, I've gone through two already. I'm on my third one. This one right here. And, uh, I'm probably going to use, let me use a good portion of this tonight. I'm going to need one more because I'm going to do white also. Put marble in. Okay, and I've not even taken this out of the bag. Let me put this over here because I don't want to get powder in the molds while I do this. Whoop! Let me see how it goes everywhere now I'm not sure how you're supposed to be using these but I'm going to assume that you put it in with a powder instead of the water Since this is for concrete, jasmineite, the oxide, I guess I probably should have looked it up, huh? It did not come with instructions either, y'all. I guess they figured that the person that was ordering it knew what they were doing. <laughs> that was their first mistake. Okay, I'm putting four scoops. In each one. And I know that's not going to be enough. So let's just go with five in each one. And I really don't want to ruin this. I really wish I thought about it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you put it in the water or the powder. Okay, I'm Googling it before I do it, y'all. I don't want to mess it up. At least this way I can answer that question for you. But, of course, you can't believe everything you see on the internet either. So, uh, a little bit of common sense needs to come into play. But, let's, let's see what they say. If I can even get an answer. Search. How to use oxide colorant and casting powders. Search. Seriously? Let 
that's in concrete Okay, I know what they are. How do you use them? What do you mix with the pigment? Wow, none of these. They simply mix dry powders. <laughs> Good gracious. Okay. Let's see what this one says. Uh, no, I don't want to do download anything. Uh, okay, really? I can't look at it unless I download something? Okay. Oxides. If you use too much, it becomes a wash rag, which means it comes out of the casting powder, and you'll be able to wipe it off. Okay. That's good to know. So go light first. They simply mix dry powders, or they wet, suspend them, and then mix them. I prefer mixing wet. I just think it's easier to see what you're get, going to get. Also add additional parts of the color if needed. I simply mix about eight tablespoons. They're mi mixing glycerin because they're making soap with two tablespoons. So they're mixing it with the water. Hmm. Oh, I'm go I'm going to go that route. I'm going to mix it with water. Let's go with the smallest one first, and that's going to be the brown. And I'm going to need another cup because I don't need that much brown. <sighs> Took me that long to find anything, uh, and it still wasn't real helpful. Okay, we're going to start out with little and then increase. Which is good for me because this stuff is not cheap. I'm going to use that. We're going to use that much. We're going to see what happens. That was one spoonful. Now that is not very deep. Wow. Okay. Well. Let me get my mixing. Is that mixed or is it still powdery? Oh, look at the grains. 
Oh no, it's not mixed. It's still. Okay, maybe it'll be better once I get it in here. Let's let's dump some powder in. That is not the brown I wanted. I was wanting that color brown. <laughs> okay, we're going to mix one more spoonful in. And just see if that makes a difference. I don't know if it's going to or not, but we will try it and see. One more spoonful in there. Let's hope it changes it some sort of way. I don't think it's going to, though. Do you see it getting any darker at all? I do not. Okay, plus me says to add a little bit of black to it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of black. And I hope I'm not adding too much. Because this is exactly what they said for you not to do. But they, they don't tell you how much is too much. Oh, that's probably way too much. Oh... I don't think it's even changing it. Let me put a little bit more powder in here to give it something to hang on to. Two spoonfuls and a sprinkle of black. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of powder to make some white. Oop! Yeah, I'm in a hurry now. I made a mess. See, when I get in a hurry, I make a mess. I just dropped something. I don't know what it was I dropped. A glass. Oh no, I dropped the the powder. Hold on, y'all. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm still trying to get this mixed up. I'm hoping I don't. Mess it up. Okay. Put a little bit more. I have a problem with brown. So I want it to feel sort of thick before I even put it in there.
Okay, here we go. Now I want to do it this way. Yeah, I know. I know. But I have this left, and I don't want to. Waste it, so. The shimmy shimmy shake. The shimmy shimmy. <laughs> I'm not going to do it a long time. I'm going to do it a little bit. And I'm going to do this in hopes that it gets sort of some marbleization going on. And I'm going to mix up some more powder to finish that off. But it's not going to be the same. We're going to put some of this in here. We're just going to go for it, y'all. I'm going to put two of those in there just to see. Now, y'all know I don't measure, okay? Y'all know I go by feel. Y'all do what you need to do. Y'all follow the manufacturer's instructions until you get comfortable with it. And then you do your own thing. Put way too much, but I love that color. But just a drop, just a drop more water. When I say a drop, that's pretty much what I'm talking about, too. One more drop. I do it just a little bit at a time. some of this colorant down in the, the lid before it got firm, but I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's going to be all the same color. Maybe not. I did not make enough color up. Good gracious. Okay, well, 
this is what we're going to do. We're going to add just a little bit in the same. See, this is what I enjoy. I enjoy playing around and, and making different colors and experimenting around. And that's what you're going to find mostly on my channel. You will find me doing the, the regular resin and the regular. But if you were in my craft room on a regular basis, this is what you would find me doing. Playing around. And people talk about thinking outside the box all the time. I don't like that term. Um, I just... I sort of just let my imagination go. That, that That's it, in a nutshell. Uh, I'm just, I'm being me. Uh, I'm letting my personality flow through what I create. And I think we all should do that. That's basically it, in a nutshell. Okay, and I am going to do this in hopes that shaking it will mix those colors around. And I am... I am more than shaking it. I'm boinging it. And, and, and as you can tell, I am hitting it to, to make those colors flow together. I'm going to do the same thing with the lid because I want the lid to have a little bit of the same colors. I don't, I don't care if it's a little bit off. But I, I want it to have the same colors in it. Okay, and I'm going to have to make up a little bit more real quick. And I'm not using any more colorant, as you can see. It's just going a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. And I'm okay with that. doing that I knew I was putting too much powder in there but I'm in a hurry I'm trying to do it so where there's not going to be a definite line I'm already afraid I'm past that point And I hope you can see what I'm doing. But at this point, I've got to get it in there. I think I overfilled this. Which is fine. And this is what I do. Y'all have seen me do this. And I'm fixing to do it again. I don't mind making a mess. In fact, I make a mess a lot when I do this. But I, I am going to have to clean it up. Shortly after I make it. Uh, 
and there is something in there and it may just be a chunk of dried okay now I can now I can shake it now I can shimmy it shimmy shimmy shake okay we're gonna set that over there I think this is fine we're gonna set that over there we're going to throw that glass away. We're going to get rid of these. We're going to get rid of those. We have used it as much as we can use it. We are going to clean this mess up to some degree. And then we're going to get started on the next one. I love the fact that cleanup is so, so easy. I just got a dry paper towel right now, y'all. Just a dry paper towel. Got my hand down here. And I am catching it. And I'm throwing it over here in my trash can. And now I'm going to take... I would suggest if you're going to do much of this, you get a gallon. You don't have to buy the water or buy one thing of water when you can get it on sale for 69 cents like I did. And then use it and then just keep filling it up. That gallon has been down here since I started doing this. Uh... We're going to set that over there. We're going to push that over there. We're going to push this here. We're going to bring this out front. And we're going to clean up our mess real fast. And that's just all part of crafting too. Well, it is in my world anyway. I don't mind making a mess, but I can't leave it. Okay, now the black is what we're going to use. We use the, uh, if those colors turn out, I'm going to be happy with this. Uh, I bought it from Sand Claystone on Etsy. It's 15 grams. I paid $4 a bag. I think it was 4 or 5 I'll have to look at the receipt, which is right here in my drawer. So I'll look at it in just a minute so I can tell you the accurate uh, price it did take quite a while to get from her uh, from New York maybe I'm just being impatient too you know it's <laughs> but coming from the States it shouldn't take more than three to four days and, and I say that knowingly because I ship stuff out all the time and that's the average time it takes when you get something you buy something from me, unless there's a major thing going on, or you live all the way in Arizona. You know, if you live in the West Coast, Washington State, Arizona, then yes, it is going to cost you more. Uh, and it's going to take longer. <laughs> yes, it will cost you more, but it, it does take longer by a couple of days. But normally, even the West Coast from here, or Washington State... Uh, is about five days. So, but I think what it was is she didn't ship it out for a couple of days. And that's okay. We all have our, you know, different business policies. And, and I knew before buying it what the time frame was. So, I was in agreement with it. And that's all that matters. Okay. Now we're all clean so we can mess it up again. I have plenty of powder left and this is going to be black. Oh, this is going to be... I, I am going to be more than amazed if I'm going to pour this in here, which is going to be a big mistake because it's going to be, be a big old powder puff. Oh, not too bad. Okay. I have no hopes of getting a true black. But now, let me show you what I got with 
the pigment paste because I don't think you ever saw uh, when I used the black from Gay Diction. Now that's what I got. Now that's a gray. I was pleasantly surprised by that. So we'll see how much difference there's going to be with this. And I'm going to mix quite a bit of this up because I think it's going to take it with the lid and okay. And we're going to go with four of these this time. I used two of the other ones. We're going to go with four. No, that's not even a full one. One, two. Let's just go with three first. I don't want to have too much and it bleeds out. I know exactly what they're talking about there. And I don't want that happening with my pieces. So. Okay, we have, I wonder if I could add black paint to this. I have black paint in here. Let me see if I have, oh, I do have black paint. Let me just get it out in case I need it. Let's just say, I don't know if it's going to interfere with the oxide colors or not. But the only way we'll know, I put three in here. So we will see. Oh, that is so gray. Oh, no, I'm disappointed. Yep, I am disappointed in that. I was hoping. Where is it? We're going to put a couple more in here. And then we're going to add some black paint to it. And I know it's not the true test with just the pure color. We added three. I'm adding three more. That would be a total of six. And no, it's still... Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if it's going to turn darker because, oh, this is not. Okay, I need more water because I'm going to put more powder in it. I know this is not going to be enough. And we're going to add paint. I'm seeing if I can't. I know I can't get a true color with just pure paint. I mean a true black. But this is supposed to be oxide colorant so i mean if i can't get a true black with oxide i don't know what else to try no that's not doing anything either okay well the hopes are for black i think are totally out 
which sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping maybe, maybe it will darken up. I have high hopes. Because this is so gray. I mean, this, this is just so gray. I do have the J. Dixon black pigment too, though. Just throw them all in there, right? Then I'll never know what did what. Who cares? I just want to get a black. That is, that's just gray. That that's gray. There's no way that's going to turn black. Okay, I'm pulling the J. Dixon pigment out. We're going to pull out all the. Work. Watch it not get hard. Because I'm putting so much coloring in it. We've had that happen before, too. Oh, okay. That made it darker. Ooh, y'all. Didn't make it black though, but it did make it a darker gray. Oh, this is not gonna look good though. It's gonna be a plain old gray. No, it's not. We're gonna do something. I don't want that jar to just be plain old yucky gray. So we are going to take the black, if I can find it. No, I need the black. I can't find the black when I need it. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. But I mean, you know. It's, it's not going to hurt. All right. This is glitter and no you're, you're you're normally not supposed to do this and it probably will just fade right into the thing it probably will but we're doing it anyway I'm dumping the excess out. Whatever's not sticking. Okay. Oh, it's already getting hard, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to lose this. I'm adding more water. Yeah, because it wasn't pouring. Okay. Let's get this poured. Let's get it in here really quick. I'm trying to cover. Okay. Just a little bit.
I'm doing this. I'm trying to get it down in. There it goes. Yep. You go on down in there. I know I'm making a mess and I know I still have to do the the lid It's going right there. Put more water and powder in this real quick and get that full. And then we're going to maybe demold that. I don't know. Let me get a little bit more water. Not much. Way too much powder. Okay, good enough, and that's going to set, uh-oh, that's going to set over there. I'm not pouring anymore tonight, <laughs> even though I have more powder out here, I'm going to say no. I'm going to change gloves real quick. I'm going to 
we can get some baby wipes right here. And I'm going to wipe this off again real quick with baby wipes just to get that film off. See, there's always going to be a film. molds not too bad okay oh that one got it and I want to pour this one I just don't know how I want to pour that with vibrant colors though it may be a terracotta and, and a, a brown though might be cool with that one and white Terracotta brown and white. That might be cool. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, that's over. Oh, it's deformed, y'all. Look at that. Look. Okay. This is probably going to break. But I'm going to. I'm going to do it. Y'all don't do this, okay? <laughs> but I, I don't want it to be deformed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Remember when I was talking about rubber bands and how it would be good to have rubber bands down here to sort of keep uh, molds rounded. We'll see. I think it's probably going to crack on me now. But I'm glad I caught it when I did, because, oh boy, it's, it's hard though, so I don't, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> but you know it's hard, because I, I turned it upside down. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, there is no telling what you're going to see on my channel. That is for sure. And I don't pre-plan. And what you see is real. It, it, it's live. It's, it's, uh, it's always spontaneous. That looks better than it did. We'll see. We'll play along and see how that worked. This is still warm. Oh, Lord. See, we're already at an hour and 35, uh, 39 minutes, y'all. I just don't. Well, I mean, we did, what, one, two, three, four. I did a review. I showed what I got, and then we ended up doing one, two, three, four, five pieces. So, maybe that's it. Maybe I should just start sticking with just one piece. But that's just not who I am. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments, really, because I'm torn. Um, I really am. Do you want me to somehow figure out how to do like a, a 35 to 45 minute video? Uh, and is that what you're really looking for? Let me know. Or are you okay with this? With just sort of coming along with me, crafting, uh, even if it's an hour and a half, two hours uh, long. Let me know. But be nice about it, please. Uh, but I do want your opinion. Because I, I really am torn. Uh, I can do just one thing and show you one thing. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop at one thing. 
and I guess that's where I'm torn because I've always brought you along and what I do you see me do um, unless I do a, like a a flop um, like last night and I don't keep you here uh, that long and it's not finished uh, I did a little bit more last night and it's sitting over there and I'll yeah do a little bit more later but please let me know in the comments uh, what y'all think. Okay. How many of y'all just screamed at the screen? <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm asking is I do. When I'm watching somebody and and they do that, and yes, there's a bunch of this out there. We're all human, okay? And the ones that don't edit, and, and you see the real stuff going on, uh, you'll see that. And, and I, I have done that before. And, and I have also seen somebody where they're fixing to do something. It's like I, I'm actually yelling, saying, no, no, don't do that. No. <laughs> Knowing that they can't hear me. But does it stop me from doing it? Oh, no, it does not. Okay, here we go. Yep. It's cold. I hope I don't break it. Because I am taking it out way too soon. 60 minutes, y'all. And I'm going to suggest you keep it in there 60 minutes. Uh, for real. Um, you, you don't have to do what I do. You're not doing a video. Keep it in there for the full 60 minutes. At least. I mean, I don't see anything that says that you can keep... You have to take it out in 60 minutes either. Okay, I love the brown. I wish I'd left the green on the leaf. Do you see what it did? <laughs> or I could do that gold. Oh, I could do that gold. Okay, I, I do like the brown. It is a very intense brown. It is the, the colorant. Is is very smooth. It is very even. The, the, uh, it's lighter on the bottom, but the marble, I hope that's coming through the camera, but I do, you know what, it does bring out the leaf, okay, and, and what you're seeing is just the leaf, that is not the leaf part, I think I'm going to do those parts in gold. Not right now, because I, I want it to cure. Uh, but I'm, I, I am happy with that one. And I love the leaf. And there's so much you could do with that. You you could... Put, I'm going I'm to make a little candle holder to go there. And I've got one on order. I've got one coming. It didn't pick up all the mica either. I guess I put too much mica down. It did not pick it all up. I'm taking it over here and setting it on this rack. There was no air bubbles in that, by the way. I guess I'm going to have to... <laughs> that rack is getting full. I guess I'm going to have to... Uh, start clearing it off. We'll start with the little one. This was the the leftover brown and then the terracotta, terracotta color. Oh, and it did not get up there. I don't mind the sides. I sort of like the sides. I could sand. I could sand that down if I wanted to to get the terracotta color. 
But my question is, does the top go in that way? I bet the top goes in that way. So you're not even going to see that anyway. So I should have had the terracotta color up here. Right? And yes, I'm looking for the sandpaper. I've got sandpaper in here somewhere. I just have to find it. And I have to... I'll use this. Let's see what happens when you sand. Let's see the color that I get. It's not changing. Is any of it coming off? I'm just sanding to say, oh, I love these colors. I love that terracotta color now. That is a bite, a bite, a, <laughs> uh, a bright, vivid color. This is not a very high grit sandpaper either. If I had a, a higher grit sandpaper, it would help tremendously. To go through this because I know if I sand it down enough I would most definitely see around the edges I would most definitely get down to the terracotta color there it goes how you can but I'm not I'm not gonna sand it anymore cuz I'm okay with that for right now anyway I think I am as long as there's not any bubbles I don't like to see bubbles, air bubbles. That's not an air bubble, that's a piece of something in there. Those are not air bubbles, that's, those are pieces in there. It's like dots. Oh, wow. But see the vibrancy of that color? Oh, I love the terracotta color. Oh, I should have got red from her. I will be ordering more. See, I only ordered three because I wasn't sure. 
And that's what I do. I'm not sure about something. I only order a little bit. And then I'll go back and order more. And I've got these uh, Dollar Tree cheap paper towels in here. And they do just fine. So I'm going to start buying my, uh, my paper towels at the Dollar Tree. Because they're a lot cheaper than... Unless I guess you buy them in bulk at Sam's or something, which we don't do. Oh, I'm scared to take this off. It's still warm, y'all. I don't want it to crumble. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, bless this little jar's heart. <laughs> I know that one's going to crack. This is a firm mold. Uh, but let's do it. Let's just go for it. Let's see if I can just roll it. If I can just roll this puppy dog. Maybe it'll be okay. Okay, see now the color did this. Look at that. Why did it do that? And why did it do this? Why? That's what I want to know. What caused those marks? And will it change? Or can I sand it down? Here we go again, y'all. Because I have all these questions. I want to know. I want to know if that's just the top part. Or if it's something to do with the moisture in the clay. I don't know. There's those black things again. Now, I did put black in with the brown to get it darker. I did do that. So on this, I can understand why there might be some black spots. But I do not understand why it was on the other. Unless it's just the base of the pigment. Which it very well could be. Because those are not air bubbles. They're not indented. Those are dots. Specks. Y'all see that? This is where I'm sanding. See what's coming through? Oh, wow. Okay. So you do get a different look when you're sanding. I'm going to have to buy, I'm going to have to buy some sandpaper. All I have are these little strips. And it's not easy. Sanding. With these things. But I want to show y'all. Oh, that's a major difference. Are y'all seeing that? See how the color's changing? It's like it's picking up. Okay. Let me just go around the whole thing. And then we'll talk about it. Can y'all see me? Okay. You can see me saying, oh, this is not good. 
This is not good sandpaper either. I'm having to fight with it. That's okay. Let me just... Make it easy on yourself, though, y'all. Get some good sandpaper. Okay, let me wipe all the excess off. Of course, it, we went from dark to light all the way down to almost white at the bottom. Look at the inside of that. That is awesome looking. I hope you can see that. Let me turn it around so you can see every... Let me see if I can do this y'all up. Can you see it better that way? I don't think the light is getting it. Oh, I love that part right there. Oh, my word. It's got a film on it right now. And I need to wipe it all off. See, look. Let me get another. Get a clean one. Of course, it's going to have coloring on there because I've been sanding. Let me just get it all off. You see it's on my hands too. Wow, y'all. I love the pigment. I love this jar. I think this jar is awesome. Does it fit that way? It does. Do I wish this was a different color? I wish it was darker. But you know what? Yeah, that would have looked awesome if it had gone that way. <laughs> that, so, note to self, when you're doing this mode, go from the bottom to the top. I mean, go, yeah. You're going to note whatever is here is going to be the thing that goes inside. So you don't worry about that as much as what's on the top here. And I could probably sand this down, but you know what? I'm okay with it because there are colors that show up. And I could put something else on here with that color or that color on here and really make it pop. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very okay. I absolutely love this mold. Yeah, AliExpress, y'all. It's a dollar twenty-nine cents. Okay, two for two. Hoo hoo wee. We are on a roll now. And I saw something on one of the Facebook groups, and I do not remember where. I would I would give them credit, but on one of the Facebook groups. I want to say beginner's resin group. I'm in a bunch of groups, okay? I, I I don't go to most of them most of the time, but if they send me a notification or something or something pops up, I'll look at it. But to go into actively, no, I'm bad about that because I'm there's so many groups. There's no way I I wouldn't have time to do anything about that. Um, but it's where. They marked their molds, and it was a fantastic idea, where if a mold has lid, they would mark their mold, like, B, B, and you knew that B went with that mold. That is a genius idea. Now, maybe it sounds simplistic to some of y'all, but I never thought about it. And I don't consider myself a stupid person, so, you know. 
I just thought I'd pass that along with you. If that is something you hadn't thought about either. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is the, oh, what's the term? I start say, this is the donkey in the house. <laughs> That's not the right term. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm afraid to take this out. I think this is going to be an ugly piece, and, and I'm going to be amazed if it, if it even comes out of the mold. And I do not expect it to, uh, for the top to fit the bottom either. But this is how, you know, this is how we learn. This is how we know what to do and what not to do. And, wow, that slid off of there really nice. Okay. Wow, the glitter stuck in there, which it looks weird as I'll get out. Let me tell you, I don't like the glitter in there, but it stuck in there. Let me, uh, we're going to do a little bit more sanding. Sanding tends to bring pieces alive with this stuff, so I need more sandpaper, y'all. Thank goodness I bought these little strips off of Timu or I wouldn't have nothing. I know, I could just run to the, the hardware store up there and get, I know, it's just getting it done. Okay, yeah, we're doing this. I just want to see how it reacts. I'm probably taking most of the glitter off. But that's okay. We know that it sticks on there, okay? Now, it is just on the top. It did not go inside. Okay, we're going to sand this down. Of course, the color is all over my hands because I'm sanding. Okay. Hey, that's pretty. Those are black spots. Those are not holes. Now the glitter is going to make it look holy. <laughs> yeah, see, it makes it look... What is that spot there? It makes it look like there's a bunch of little air holes in it, but that's not. It's where the glitter is. And if you look real close, you can tell that. That's where all the glitter But don't put, y'all don't put glitter. I, I, I don't like the look. And I, you know, maybe somebody would. So I shouldn't say don't. I won't do it again. <laughs> do it your way. Nobody should ever tell you not to do it a certain way. I definitely should not have said that. I just won't be doing it again that way. Look at the, the glitter on my hands. I'm not a big glitter person. You know, there's... It's not that I don't think it's pretty. Oh, it's a pain in the butt to clean up. It gets everywhere. But, you know, that dust would give it a little bit of shimmer. And, you know, if I did this in gloss... I don't know. I, you know, I may like the glitter. <laughs> 
the more I look at a piece, have you noticed that when you're watching my videos, I'll say, oh, I don't like something, but then the more I look at it, then I s sort of see the potential in the piece. So, okay. Oh, and boy, that's a dark, dark gray, okay? That's about the blackest I've gotten a piece. But of course, it has the oxide, it's got black paint, and it's got the uh, J. Diction uh, pigment color in it. So, I'm afraid to take this off. I'm afraid this is just going to crumble because, you know, I did take it. And, well, you saw it all oh, warped. I mean, it was just, it was weird. Is this going to fit? Oh, no, that's not going to fit that. Oh, it is not going to fit that. Look, it, it's, okay. Well, this is, was a trial piece just to see how black of a color we could get. Let's just look at it that way. And maybe we can see what the design would have been like if it had it turned out. Let's think positive thoughts here and let's roll. Let's just roll it. Let's see if we can't just keep rolling it. Oh Lord, my mind is just a weird place. As soon as I started saying that, <laughs> The song popped up to my head. <laughs> What's that? Rawhide? Uh, oh, I like, I like the draw. None. You don't see any of that white on there, y'all. It just got totally washed away. You have to watch it, though. Don't move it. When you pour it, don't move it because it is totally deformed. <gasps> almost. That lit almost. I might be able to sand it down. Oh, that's sad, too, because I sort of like that. Okay, where does it not fit? Good. It's right there. There. Okay, let's sand that puppy dog down. Right here. Let's hope I don't break the, the jar in the process of doing so. I need a little bit of water. I'm just going to soak that down and see if I can't get Oh, quite a bit. Let, let me get my X-Acto knife out here. I could sh probably get my... chisel too, but I don't want to do that yet unless I see that I need to. Almost right there. What is causing it to stop now? Right there. Is 
Sorry, y'all. I'm not even paying attention to the time because I do want to finish this. And if I look at the time, then I'll be prone to just say, I'll show you the finished product later. And I don't want to do that again tonight. So just stick with me long enough to figure out how to get this to sit. If I can get it to sit. Okay, where is it not fitting now? It's fitting over there. Sand all the way around. And this video probably will not come out until Tuesday morning. Since it's going to be so late before. Sometimes it takes me two hours to get it saved and uploaded to YouTube after I get it done. I couldn't go to sleep last night. It was four o'clock this morning. I'm sitting there watching YouTube videos. And normally some of them will put me to sleep. That's not a bad thing. There, there are some where some people have such a soothing voice. And one of the uh, people that I watch, and I love her, and I've watched her from the very beginning for years, is Clo uh, Lavender Clothesline. And, of course, y'all know that I have online retail stores. Well, they're not retail, but uh, I sell mostly vintage stuff. But, you know, a few pieces of clothing, but most of those are vintage, too. Um, and, and I have some that I watch that's in that field, but she's got such a soothing voice that I will put on some of her older videos that I have watched before to go to sleep with because it, it's just a, a soothing sound. Now, I can also... But it drives Dan nuts. I can put nature sounds on. But that just irritates him. <laughs> oh, and water sounds. Oh, I love water sounds. But no, he he can't stand that. He If he hears water sounds, uh, it makes him go have to get up and go pee. And it was so funny. His sister, uh, Eva, years ago, well, we lived in Florida for uh, a gift to us uh, for our anniversary. She gifted us a, a weekend trip to Elizabeth's Point on Amelia, Amelia Island. A gorgeous, gorgeous place. And the bed and breakfast that we stayed at was called Elizabeth's Point. And um, uh, we were right on the ocean. I mean, we could open up the window and the... the the wind, the breeze coming in off the ocean, and you could hear it, and oh, I was in heaven, I absolutely loved it, and Dan made me close the window, <laughs> he was having to get up all night long the first night to go to the bathroom, and uh, so, you know, 
difference of people. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, if y'all get that mo, just watch it because something I don't understand. It's wobbly now. What? It makes me want to just push it. And I don't understand. Yeah, I'm sort of chiseling down the the top a little bit. And instead of making it straight, I'm making the bottom sort of going in a little bit. I'm determined to make this top fit. I don't know why. I just hate to see a piece that could be usable go to waste. I would suggest if you're going to do this, wear a mask. Now, at least not be talking while you're doing it. Because it's blowing up in my mouth. I'm trying to get it down now away from my mouth. Okay. Let me get another. If you could see my shirt, you would know. See, it's, it's all over me. Let's see if that worked. You see what I did? I sort of made the bottom go down instead of straight. I'm determined. Oh, that worked. Okay, that helped. It's still a little wobbly, but not quite as wobbly. The bottom's wobbly now. I don't like the glitter. I think it would have looked a lot better without the glitter. The glitter makes it look like a bunch of little holes. And all those, unless the light hits, and then you can see. So maybe I'll wait. I may change my mind. Maybe I'll wait and put a sealer on there. Yeah, okay. At least the lid. See? The lid goes down. It's a little floppy, but not as much. So I'm I'm okay with that. Did I? Yeah, I had to work with it for a bit to get it to where it would work. But hey, it's a useful piece now. It's not going to go to waste. Oop. So for a recap. This is a new mold from AliExpress. And that's right there. And all those little places, that's where the glitter is. And you have to be careful with this because it will warp. And none of the white showed up. That's okay. I could probably dry brush this with turquoise with the... I don't even think I have. Oh, you know what? You know what I do have? Yeah, okay, y'all. I don't mind doing this. Uh, because it can... It can dry right along with it. We're going to just say, I want to see, so 
we're gonna we're gonna try it of course i've got the blast plastic covering so i can just put it right down that's what makes this thing so nice i absolutely love it We'll wait for the the white in just a second. And it most definitely is going to have to have white. Because I think I put way too much. Just not that much. Not even that much, but I can bring just a tad. Over. Yeah. Well, maybe. No poo. Let's just bring it all over. And let's just add a little bit more blue. I'm going to have to add some. water I think maybe not can y'all see this okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water over here on the napkin because I don't want I don't want too much <laughs> Yep, just enough. Let's see, let me bring that just a little bit more. There we go. Just to keep it moist enough until I get my brush in here and we're going to dry brush. And I hope I have a brush out here that I can dry brush with. I hope I do. It does not look like I've got one. Hmm. I need a big brush. I think all my brushes are upstairs. Let me go look in here real quick. Bring my brushes down here. This is the only brush I could find, and it is definitely not one to be dry brushing this big old jar with. But let's just see. Let's just see if I can get. Wow, this is so dark, it's not gonna. Am I gonna get a colorant at all? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit of color on here. I'm just randomly Bigger brush. Put 
We will, we will go with what we've got. Yeah, I'm not saying anything in my that's what happens when I get into the the zone. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I enjoy doing this. I never really have a plan when I pick up a paintbrush. Uh rather it be doing a, an actual painting or painting a piece I, I never have a plan prior to uh, picking it up I sort of just go with whatever the flow is at that point I've just always been that way
and I'm not trying to cover everything either. I am just trying to put some kind of color. Oh, that's the first air bubble that I actually saw right there. Did y'all catch that? It was up here on the, right there. I will be adding some more paint to this when it dries and I will be sanding this down a little bit. I can't show you the whole procedure because this has to dry for a good 48 hours before I can totally finish it. Uh, and I'm basically just getting some color down on it right now. It gives you some kind of idea. You saw the way it looked prior to. You can change the color up. You can do whatever you want to, okay? And if you want more white, which I don't, but I'm going to show you. You can add designs like that, and you could just do the edges. And it gives it a totally different look and I do swear like that so we'll go with that let me take the top off and I'm just picking up the slightest bit of color with the white and I'm just barely touching one edge and then pulling And you can tell I don't have much paint because I'm holding this jar. And if I had a bunch of paint, it would be leaving fingerprints and marks on it. And it is not because I'm picking up very, very little paint. It doesn't have to be the same either. This is a, a very imperfect piece from the very beginning. But you're actually highlighting the best piece of this. It actually brings the eyes more so to this. And then when I get through distressing it and sanding it down, 
and adding a little bit more white here and there. So you can control whatever you want to do and it changes the looks completely every time you do that. Just have fun with your art. Just enjoy it. That's the best advice I can give you. Don't worry about if somebody else is going to like it. Because you're expressing yourself through your art. Whether you believe it or not, you are. It's coming from your soul. People who are truly passionate about it, that's exactly where it's coming from. And everybody has the ability to do art. I believe that. I think some are gifted with the ability to do certain art, but I think every, every person is born with a gift to do art. And so, therefore, see, you have a totally different look altogether. And if you wanted to add more accents and more white, this is where these come in. You've seen these. You may have wondered what they are. Today, I get to sh show you. Let me load it. Up with some color. Way too much. It only... You see how it's cut? And you can get these off of Timu. Don't worry if you get that. I sort of like that. I sort of like to have bits and pieces where color is more dominant. And my, my paint is drying out. So I'm probably going to have to stop. Because it's at the point of having way too much water in it. Already. And see, I like the occasional stronger white with some. And I like the imperfection. I think it gives the piece more character. It gives it more for the eye to look at and wonder upon. So, that's me just playing around. And if you get too much, then you just wipe it off. And if you don't like the way it looks, just do something different. Play around. Have fun. That's what it should be about. You enjoying yourself.
I'm way, way over the time. But there you have it. Something totally different. Oh, Lord, yes, I'm at two hours and 45 minutes. Okay. Yes, we are going to go now. There's the pieces. And then the first piece of the tray. I'll come back and get it real quick. The tray. 